Another short presentation from the PLC E University. What is a PLC? This is the 11th in the Factory Rat series. The subject matter is going to be rungs of logic that remember. Specifically, we're going to introduce the OTL latch instruction and the OTU unlatch instruction. Just a reminder, this is the database that we're working with. This is an image of the memory by default for that MicroLogix 1400 processor that we're using right at the moment. But it doesn't matter what processor you're using, your memory will have a default layout that has some similarity to this. At the bottom is the default output words. There's six of them, zero through five. And then there's the default eight input words. And these six and eight words are available for use with I.O. Now, because we're using fixed I.O., we're only going to use certain bits out of both of those files, file zero and file one. File two is a status file. And then three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, those are default. We're going to be adding some statements in the program file, ladder two, that will access, it will read these bits that you're looking at and write to these bits. Remember that the program never reads directly from the input devices and it never writes directly to the output devices. Everything takes place right here in RAM. This is where we left the program in a previous presentation. We had two pairs of rungs. One used internal bits. We read internal bits and we toggle those manually from the keyboard to control internal bits. And then this pair of bits we used real inputs. I'm pushing a push button. It's pressed. Now it's not. And the logic is identical. They're all bits in memory. The only difference is that we have physical inputs that dominate the state of this bit right here, an input bit. And this bit, if the, if the program is running, if the controller's in the run mode, then the state of this bit dominates that output. We are online. As you can see up here, we're in remote run. I'm going to put this in the offline mode. I'm going to let it save. I'm going to let it upload the data table. That's not really necessary. Now we're offline. I'm going to delete these rungs. I'm going to put the focus on the first rung and then delete, 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 delete. Add a new rung, new instruction. Put the focus down here and then just click on the instruction you want and it'll pop in for addresses locations in memory i'm going to use our actual inputs when i hit enter it completes the actual memory location i colon zero dot zero and an output address click here o zero slash zero with the previous logic when this went false that was de-energized so let's download this and see the difference i'm going to verify it and then i'm going to go to com system comms i get a who active online i click on my processor and then i click download Yes, go ahead and download. It's in the run mode. You want to switch to the program mode? Yes, I do. Do you want to change back to the run mode? Yes, I do. Do you want to go online? Yes, I do. This is a true if on. This is a set or latch out push that push button. See the rung is true. Output zero is on. When I release input zero, it stays on. The OTL does not have a false execution. When the rung goes false, the OTL, output latch, has no false execution, so it doesn't do anything. The last thing that output zero heard is, hey, you're on. Going offline, I'm going to add some logic back in and download it. Now we have two rungs of logic. Both of them have a condition of the state of that bit memory. Input zero, one is going to influence output zero with a latch instruction, the other output one with an OTE. You cannot have two output type instructions addressing the same bit memory. So I'm going to push that button, both rungs are true, and when I release, you see that the bit that was addressed by the OTL does not change state. This is to clarify that the OTL has no false execution where the OTE does. How do we turn that bit off? Output zero. Add another rung of logic. I added a rung of logic that looks at the bit input one, and then if the rung is true, it executes an OTU against the same memory location that we executed the OTL. Watch, if I push input zero, nothing changes for output zero. If I push input one, output zero instantly goes off and release, it stays off. So the, the L and the U, the OTL and OTU have a true execution only, no false execution, that's latch and unlatch. Quick review with the true on input zero and the OTE, 
When the rung is true, the OTE turns on that bit, bit one, output one. When the rung is false, it turns it off. When it's true, it turns it on. When it's false, it turns it off. However, with the OTL, when the rung is true, it turns it on. And when it's false, it doesn't do anything. You have to use the unlatch to reset that bit. Those are the rungs of logic that remember.